you're gonna do whatever it is. I don't know what you wanna do. I'm not gonna need any fucking one. I just wanna walk this road alone. I'm gonna make it happen. Hey guys, Gym Nation here. As you already heard this very sad news, it's with a heavy heart that we received news that shook me to my core. Our beloved Joe Linder, known as Joe Aesthetics, has passed away this morning at just 30 years old. It breaks my heart to inform you that Joe Lindner, better known as Joe Aesthetics, has passed away. And many people already started talking about his gear use as he admitted that in several occasions. Yeah, I, to be honest, I did all kinds of crazy shit. I've tried different dosages. But here I'm natural, bro. Here I was using some Winstrel, maybe 20 milligrams per day. His heartbroken girlfriend, Nisha, announced the news on her Instagram this afternoon. She said Joe died while they were cuddling, shortly after gifting her a custom-made necklace with her name on it. Fellow bodybuilder Noel Diesel confirmed the tragic news through an Instagram post. Noel said, Rest in peace, Joe. I still keep checking my phone waiting for your reply so we can meet at the gym. First, who is Joe Aesthetics? Joe Aesthetics is a German fitness influencer, a very popular figure in the fitness industry. Began his fitness journey at a young age and built an impressive career around his passion for bodybuilding. With 8.5 million followers on Instagram, almost 1 million subscribers on YouTube, and a lot more on other platforms. He posted content primarily in the categories of lifestyle and physical fitness, offering valuable workout tips and tricks. But I think Joe was known to everyone for the crazy videos of him flexing his chest, making the fibers kind of go up and down. Rippling effect is some sort of, it's not a disease, it's like some sort of condition, right? They call it rippling muscle disease though, as far as okay. I know. But technically it's a cramp, it's a cramp. Weeks before his death, Joe said he feared overtraining would give him a heart attack due to his rare muscular condition. Also previous Obviously, he told YouTuber Bradley Martin, the heart is also a muscle. That's my biggest concern. That what if I get such a bad cramp that my heart gets a cramp? Yeah, but, but there's nothing bad to the disease, no? Maybe you cramp more? Let's be honest, uh, the heart is also a muscle. Yeah. And that's oh, my biggest concern that's always. Scary. It's like, what if I have such a bad cramp that my heart gets a cramp? I don't it's called know. a heart attack. He suffered from rippling muscle disease, where muscles are unusually sensitive to movement or pressure. Yeah. So, and that's what's then scary is like, oh yeah, you have this already and then you dehydrate yourself more, uh, maybe your heart gonna give up at one point. Yeah, that's scary. He gained widespread popularity and became a beloved source of knowledge and entertainment for the global fitness community. The news of him passing has left his fans and friends devastated. So, if I seem a little bit wrecked this week, no, you don't. <laughs> and obviously everybody now is wondering what happened. I've seen a lot of conflicting comments in different posts on what exactly happened. I've seen a lot of people saying heart attack, but that doesn't seem to line up. The closest thing that we have to an actual answer is a post from his girlfriend Nisha. Nisha posted, Joe is the best place everyone. Yesterday, he's passed away by a nurse him. I was there with him in the room. He put on the necklace in my neck that he made for me. Then we was just lay down cuddle. I'm using her own words just to not twist any fact. Waiting the time to go meet Noel at the gym at four o'clock. He was in my arms. Then this is just happening too fast. Three days ago, he kept said that he pain his neck. We not really realize until it was too late. Obviously, Nisha is not really capable of speaking English, but you could get the idea from what her words. Um, his mom flew into Thailand today uh, to make arrangements and uh, to see her son one last time. So maybe a blood clot formed during the time that he flew back to Thailand. Um, from Wednesday onwards, he started experiencing neck pain. I'm sure he puts that pain away and tried to work through it with a massage. Um, after that, he started experiencing a headache. And, uh, he never showed up to the gym. His girlfriend called uh, John, one of our good friends, in a panic because Joe was not feeling well. John rushed to his condominium a couple minutes away and by the time John came there, Joe was already on the floor. He tried to do CPR for over 30 minutes until the ambulance arrived. But it seems that by the time John came to his condominium, Joe had already passed away. So, if I seem a little bit wrecked this week, now for those who aren't familiar, an anernim is a weakening of a blood vessel. Imagine a balloon with a thin spot that could burst under pressure. Aneurysms can occur throughout the body in critical areas like the heart or brain. Sadly, we may never know exactly what it happened or why. In the wake of this tragic news, there will be speculations about performance enhancing drugs. 
Joe was open about his past struggles with anabolic steroids and their detrimental effects on his body and mind. The same thing is when you look at the other picture again of this here, it's just full and dry. This is what steroids can do. The craziest cycle that I probably did was 100 milligrams of prop and 100 milligrams of trend every day. It's important to note that caffeine is a legal stimulant, but it can put additional strain on the heart when combined with anabolic steroids and intense workouts. Joe never promoted the use of steroids. On the contrary, he wanted to educate others about their risks. Most of the times you will lose all the muscle that you gained on the cycle and even more. And then you just ask yourself, why do that in the first place? And if you ever start these things, bruh, you eventually gotta stick to it and it's gonna be a situation where you're stuck for life, man. Joe's girlfriend mentioned he experienced neck pain days before, but it's unclear if it was related. His girlfriend was the closest to the situation, so she obviously has the best understanding of what happened. Nisha went on to share intimate photos taken of the couple before his tragic death. Many have wondered how Joe achieved his incredible physique. Genetics played a significant role, obviously. His physique was Joe dropping, and recently he competed in men's physique contests. Joe's passing serves a reminder that life is fragile, regardless of how fit or healthy we appear. So let's cherish our health, support one another, and strive to become stronger individuals, not just physically, but emotionally as well. So rest in peace to Joe Linder, aka Joe Aesthetics. All my fucking life, bro, people, they told me like, you know, nothing's gonna work with you, man. You're just a fucking quitter. And I'm like, no, bro, I'm better than this, man. I'm stronger than this. Yeah, I was sitting there and saying, oh, man, I'm not this, I'm not that, because my parents didn't push me. My dad didn't do this. These guys didn't support me here and there. And what does it help me? And I just said to myself, I'm gonna do it myself. Quiet's driving me insane. Silence rattles in my brain. Yeah, I gotta get away.